Привет! Today we are intercepting the bombers. It is the 17th of May, 1943. The weather is foggy. Our tasks became even more complicated. Aerial reconnaissance missions. The enemy seemed to have disappeared. All of those tanks, all of those trucks, blah, 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 blah. They were suddenly nowhere to be found. We began to think that the whole German thing was a feint designed to draw our forces away from the real offensive. Not quite. Rumor was that the real offensive was going to happen at Kharkov. German phone lines in the sector were, in the sector were quiet. Uh, Let's see, I took Govrov out a few more times, he was learning fast. And Sounds like I'm going to have the best wingman in the Air Force. Okay, our CEO, Deregin, flew with us every now and then. He had seven kills to his credits, and I suppose he wanted more, or perhaps he was trying to escape from the Commissar for a few hours a day. The atmosphere in their dugout was becoming a... Uh, yeah. It was becoming staler each time I walked in. So, observers on the front line are reporting enemy bombers heading for Kursk. They are estimated to be 10 to 12 and 4 escorts. Army HQ is sending air cobras up the 129th to intercept the escorts. And we are going to hit the bombers. Most li likely target is the Kursk railway station, where large quantities of fuel and ammunition are warehoused. Say no more, I'm taking six yaks with me. So, that is all good. Let's go. All right, here we are. Engine starting, flaps coming down, tailwheel locked, mixture, I'll lean it slightly, and radiator is full open. No time to waste, let's go. And we're rolling, tailwheel's off the ground. I'll just let us accelerate a bit. 50, 60, 70, 180, 190, yeah, we're good. Get up, uh, level off and accelerate down the runway, and bring the flaps up. Okay, that door was just demonstrated, a soft field takeoff, kind of. Anyway, I am going to climb out, and uh, probably come back when we are near those German bombers that are rumored to be in the area. All right, we've got the fascists in sight. Um, I've actually climbed to a higher, to higher than the prescribed altitude, and it appears to have paid off. The first line of fighters are keeping the German fighters occupied, leaving me and my yaks free to pursue the bombers. So that is all good. So I will just stay well above this combat area, and ideally, we should be able to slip in behind these uh, Heinkels, as they've turned out to be which are supposedly heading for the railway station in Kursk. So, I will send my entire group after the bombers. I'll have my wingman cover me. And uh, we should get a great many kills today. This should be good. I will nestle to my gun sight. And slip in. See if I can find a target of opportunity. I like the idea of Tail and Charlie on the starboard side of the formation. It'll minimize the number of bombers that can shoot at me without hitting each other, I think, is my... Mostly my logic for attacking... This one. I'm going to have to be careful. Because these gunners do seem to know what they're doing, but... Okay, good hits, good hits. And then we'll climb well away from the combat area, try not to expose our belly to the Germans for too long. And I will circle down and make another pass. I like the idea of Tail and Charlie in this second element here. Oh, good hits, good hits. Oh, that was our other yak, okay. Oh, target of opportunity. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, time to go, time to go. I think I shot his engine off. Whee-hee! Okay, we are having good luck today. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be careful. I would like to actually make it home. I'd also like to uh, fire every last bullet I have into a fascist bomber. Because, oh, are they turning and heading for home? Maybe they've actually 
Maybe they're over the Targus. No, they're not, because Kursk is way the heck down there. So that's all good. I think we might have actually scared them into turning around. Which would be hilarious if that were the case, but uh, I don't know if it actually is. Now we're at a higher altitude, I can close the radiator a little bit. So we don't need quite as much air coming in to keep the engine cool. I've got the mixture leaned nice and good for best power. And I'm going to make another pass at this Jerry Bomber. Go for the engine. Whee! I don't think I actually hit anything. Which is remarkable considering how close we got, but uh, what can I do? What can I do? I can make another pass, is what I can do. Another pass at full power. Good hits, good hits. Come on, come on. Shoot Jerry full of lead. Ah ha ha! Two engines pouring black smoke. So he's losing oil, his engines could seize at any moment, he is not making it home. I will guarantee that. Good grief, those bombers are almost as fast as us at this altitude. It's, I mean, most of the air combat over this front took place at much lower altitudes, so you can kind of understand that. So Soviet fighters had very good low altitude performance. With the exception of the MiG-3, which was designed as a high altitude interceptor, but uh, we're not flying that anymore, are we? We have an infinitely superior machine. And I'm low on ammo, so I'll see what I can do with the uh, little I have left, but we're out. Okay. So I will let my squadron continue attacking uh, all the bombers to their heart's content and then make their own way home. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to head home now. Uh, since I'm out of ammunition, I can't exactly do any good, so... I'm going to uh, bug out and duck into the clouds. Alright, my wigman followed me home because he is trusty and is actually able to keep information. But uh, that's okay, but we are almost home now. I am flying very fast at low altitude. Uh, getting back to base. And I'll actually cut until we get there because it's still kind of far away. Home sweet home sweet home again! We are overflying the base. I'll just sort of make a straight left downwind here, and I'll try and bleed off some speed. Um, I'm sure my squadron have done enough by now, so I'll tell them they can go home. And that includes my wingman, so that he doesn't try to land beside me and crash. Gears coming down, flaps coming down, tailwheel is locked. And we are entering slow flight, so hopefully there aren't any Germans around. And just to be sure of that, we'll do a short downwind. And we'll turn on the base. And we will turn final at any minute now. And there's lots of wind down below the cloud layer today, because the weather isn't that great. But you know, I'm actually gonna see if I can make a good landing today, because I've actually got this trimmed the way I like it. Very good, very good. Level up. Oh, that was pretty good. I mean, these aircraft do have very high landing speed, so it's hard to not have them bounce a little bit, but I pretty much greased that one. So, we will slow down, unlock the tail wheel, and turn off to the right side. See if we can make this taxiway here. And our mission is complete. Very good. And we will just come to a halt. And we made it home with our yak. Let's see what the rest of my squadron's up to. Yeah, they're all heading home. Let's see what we managed to do to Jerry. So it looks like a couple of 109s survived. Uh, but it looks like our P-39s managed to keep them busy. Oh, joy. Not very many fascist bombers made it back. Looks like this... Oh, this is the one that I shot the engine off of. Okay. Looks like we got good results. This one's got an engine out. I'm actually going to monitor these guys and see what happens. Because in a lot of cases, you don't get credited with the kill unless they crash. And uh, if there's crashing yet to be had, I'm 
going to uh, take advantage of it. Uh, this guy is just circling. Um, is the crew even still on board? Yeah, and they're all alive. So I'm not sure what's up. Let's see what's happening with the other uh, Jerez. Yeah, yeah, one of mine's. This one is not going to make it much further, I'm going to say. But with the black smoke, you gets pretty much an even bet that it's losing oil. And then they tend to crash. Uh, because the engine will seize once it loses enough oil. And... Yeah. I'm not going to wait all day for these guys to uh, do their thing, but... Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and end the mission now for expedience sake. I'm sure I got a whole bunch. Yeah, we're up to 11 and a half kills, so that means I got um, at least two, I guess. So I am satisfied with that. I am now a double ace, which makes me very happy. And uh, we are going to apply that and see what happens next time. So next time we'll be over the front line. Blah, 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 blah. So, until then, um, das vidanya, I will see you next time.